Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with another one of my quick hits. And on this one, we're going to talk about Anthony Joshua, the young man whose star is about to rise in the sport of boxing. In fact, it has already been rising, uh, but now it looks like it could be taken to another level. He, of course, if you have not been paying attention, Anthony Joshua is uh, the Olympic champion, undefeated as a professional who just won a portion of the heavyweight title by beating Charles Martin. And he is already a star in England uh, and uh, soon maybe one in the United States as well. Let's first talk now about the fact that they've announced his next fight, which is going to be on uh, June 25th against Dominic Brazil uh, from the United States. Brazil undefeated like um, uh, Joshua is but has not quite climbed the heights that Anthony Joshua has at this point. He's very big, uh, like Joshua. Uh, and at the press conference, they announced uh, this fight. Uh, there was some tension between the two of them, and it was uh, intriguing. Um, but these two men, uh, when you look at Brazil and Joshua, what we see are the modern heavyweights. We see two very big men. Uh, jo they're both in the 6'6 range. Uh, both big and powerful. Now, some might say, well, Dominic Brazil hasn't, he's not yet an upper echelon fighter. He's been undefeated and he's, uh, uh, he's been tested in several fights uh, and, and in some cases has not looked as good as some people would like him to look, but nonetheless is still a fighter who uh, merits this shot. And what is intriguing to me is that Anthony Joshua isn't quite the fighter he should be to have a championship. Uh, and by that, I mean that even though he's undefeated, uh, he hasn't yet really faced the kind of competition one would expect when you've won a portion of the heavyweight championship. Now, the same could be said of Deontay Wilder, uh, who, who, uh, who got to the ch his version of the championship in much the same way, maybe fought a few more times than um, than Joshua, but nonetheless got there without having been tested uh, really by an upper echelon heavyweight. Uh, Brazil, I think, is is appropriate as a choice for an opponent. Um, he, he's someone who arguably is nibbling around the top 10 of the heavyweight division um, and in it in, in, in some cases. And uh, and I think it's, it's kind of an appropriate choice at this juncture. Now, the big news about Anthony Joshua comes not just in announcing that fight on June 25th, it comes in the fact that also at that press conference, it was announced that he will be signing with Showtime and has signed with Showtime uh, and the CBS company uh, as his exclusive distributor of fights in the United States. Um, and we had Anthony Joshua on Showtime against um, – Charles Martin in our Showtime International Series, uh, and we showed him winning his world title in what was an explosive performance. And now Showtime has outbid its rivals uh, to get the exclusive rights for Anthony Joshua. Now, obviously, from a personal standpoint, I'm, I'm thrilled about it because I'll get a chance to be involved in his fights, and uh, and I love the idea of, of being able to chronicle his rise in the heavyweight division for American audiences. Anthony Joshua is a dynamic figure. Make no mistake about that. He has already become a star in uh, the UK. He is big. He's powerful. He is well-spoken. Uh, he, he won the day both during the fight against Charles Martin and won the day after the fight in the interview. All of that does not guarantee him superstar status in the next year or two. But what it does do is mean that he is a major player in that heavyweight division. I've said for the last several years that if you put if you put a gun to my head and say you have to pick one heavyweight who might jump to the head of the list and be the superstar of the division, I've always said it could well be Anthony Joshua. Now, there are a couple other people that will have something to say about it. One is an American who holds a portion of the heavyweight title. His name is Deontay Wilder. What's significant about Joshua's decision 
to come to Showtime is he said it was influenced by the fact that Deontay Wilder is often has his fights shown on Showtime. And Joshua has made it clear he wants that fight. He wants to see a unification fight with Deontay Wilder uh, that would create what I think would be a very, very fascinating and very marketable and very interesting fight. Now, the third spoke, and some would say the main spoke of the heavyweight division, uh, is Tyson Fury. He, of course, beat Vladimir Klitschko for what is recognized as the authentic heavyweight championship by, by most people. And Fury will be fighting Vladimir Klitschko soon uh, in their rematch. Should Tyson Fury win that, uh, we would then have a fascinating trio of uh, men claiming versions of the heavyweight title. Uh, and uh, they're all big, they're all tall, they're all rough and tumble, uh, and each one with a very distinct personality. Tyson Fury is kind of the Donald Trump of the heavyweight division. He will do and say just about anything. Uh, Deontay Wilder, more flamboyant, but a little more measured. Uh, and then Anthony Joshua, who kind of brings the Lennox Lewis approach to uh, how he uh, talks publicly. Um, and uh, so each of these men have a, uh, Joshua, a slightly more restrained personality. And I think more, um, the one thing I, about Joshua that's interesting is he's conversational in the way he approaches things. So you have three men, very different in their approach, uh, different in the way they fight to some degree, to great degree. Um, even though they broke, they all bring the same physical advantages to it. So the heavyweight division is becoming one that in the next 12 months could be fascinating, both in Great Britain, of course, the UK overall, and in the United States and really worldwide. And Anthony Joshua will be right in the middle of it. And uh, of course, we could all get carried away with ourselves and say that he's assured of being an international star. He's not assured of it. But he has taken the first steps toward it. Uh, and now American fans will, on a regular basis, get to see um, him in action and get to find out just how good Anthony Joshua could possibly be. It'll be a fun journey.